Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 where I'm going to move my mic over to where it actually belongs and we're going to jump right into this battle as soon as I rearrange my chair apparently into this battle with this thingy that's huge and probably got like three layers of crap on it. Okie dokie, smokies. Overlord will take out that shield. Oh, wait, I'm not paying attention. I am not paying attention. Um, uh, if I could get away quickly, I wouldn't mind doing a char our charge, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, shoot, my character, she keeps stupid controller. Weak, but it's good against. Okay. Maybe, actually, I'll use a. Uh... Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I missed it! I thought it was a tracking one. Shoot. I'm gonna stay hidden around this. Um. Oh, Miranda's already dead. Well, we're screwed. Ah! Um. Where is it? Ah! Okay. I'm just basically gonna be running. I'm gonna keep distracted. You guys do pot shots on it. You can't hit me through here. Um. <laughs> Bring around the rosy. Popping <laughs> failure. Um. Yeah, you did. For you! Maybe you can pull itself up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I don't think that worked that time. Defense systems active. <laughs> this is too hairy. Bring her on the rosy. I can use all my abilities. Um, did that do anything? Ah! <laughs> ah! Woo! Ow! Whoa! Yeah, shake the head. Woo! Okay, we lived! We lived! <laughs> Bring around the rosy pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Give me something. Oh, what's this? Yeah, heavy weapon ammo. Give me that refined iridium too. Uh, which way? I need to go into that one, so I'm gonna go into these ones first. Dang it! Dang it! Oh! Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Oh! Safe from swarms. Have to hide. Shoot! No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? Where's... No, Vitor. Tally. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Max will protect. <laughs> Seeing the notification almost screwed me up. I almost missed it. You're human. Why did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We weren't here, We're buddy. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My Nasty God. Nasty work. I think it's a collector. I thought the collectors kept to themselves. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. Because I know what they are, I did that option this time. Somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Huh. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. 
Sort of. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you. Then the monsters take you away. Look at that. Why didn't the Collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. That's terrifying. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. I feel really bad Sounds for this like guy. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Well, we Maybe found the something. Maybe can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my own. And he was able tool. to do that is Lots good. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Like dark he had energy. The, the presence we need of to get mind this to data do that. to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the we intel we need. We can't take the... We can't take Raza him. Raza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of She's my own. She's a grown-up now. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. That's a little different. I think I don't think I've ever given her the data before. Because that that was a different usually it's a little bit more she's a little more cautious. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. And we can't give him the specialized give us the care he needs. Data and take him to the flotilla. Cerberus doesn't have Understood story and facilities. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Heck yeah. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. Thank you, Tally. We're ready for pickup. Shoot. I might actually go back, <laughs> as foolish as that might be, and replay that section because there is a part where, with Tally, we're supposed to be able to go say hi to Tally. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. Yeah. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as because a threat. Because you do things that but are threatening! You confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The collectors are enigmatic. Right, I mean, really, if you had suspicions, you would, for something like that, you would need systems, proof. Looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the collectors. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. Interesting. Did they, they, they modify it? Or relays, the, the that's Reapers. just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? 
mean, he has a very a fairly expressive face. Like, he doesn't just look straight at you when he's talking. He's, like, talking out loud to himself, sort of, you know? What are the collectors getting from these getting deals? Getting ideas, too, The collectors know? aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Hmm, but there's something else. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, yeah. scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. Indeed. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Where's Caden Alenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. He's moved on. He's, he's moved up in the world. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Interesting that he still knows so much what about, about Tally? him. She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. So he's looked... I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Yeah, he's, uh, he's already looked into my previous team and evaluated them. You know what I mean? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The two of disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate That's because Garrus is better than you even know. Where's Liara Tassani? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. She can't, you can't be trusted. <laughs> you are the elusive man. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. Okay, we'll see if how this goes. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help us out. I'm dead, though. If you think you could convince them, by all means. First human Just specter remember, died. Like, jeez. You've been gone a long time. This is something that I don't think gets addressed well enough is the fact that like I mean it is a little bit when Shepard's like come on let's just let's tally come with me you know type thing and it's like she just I don't know she, I don't think she quite get like you can't like it'd be really difficult to comprehend that sort of a a time even just two years like that is two years like so much can change in that time so she's still kind of having to deal with that fact that for her, she feels like she just got done fighting Saren and searching for Geth, but everybody else has had time to move on to bigger other threats, you know, and, and other things in their lives, so... Two years is enough time to get over somebody, to get over the death of somebody, you know? So, it'd be weird. You worry about the collectors, I'll make sure my team's ready. You're darn tootin' I will. Good. Two things before you go. First, Head to Omega and find Morden Solis. Morden! He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. You need him to do Our anything. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with This is important to establish, I think. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might <laughs> like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. <laughs> Joker! <laughs> hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? Oh, man, you and me, buddy. We haven't seen Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. With a lot of strings attached. Yep. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. That can't happen. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. <laughs> they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. This. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. Oh, last night. Oh my gosh. Oh, that music. 
kills me every time. <laughs> My baby. <laughs> Good to be home, huh, Commander? Oh, man. I guess we'll have to give her a name. Our baby, Joker, our baby. We're going, Joker. You, me, and the Normandy. The Normandy's daughter, I guess. Normandy SR1's daughter, maybe. She's got the spirit of the first one, that's for sure. My gosh. Look at that. We are off. Wow. Leveled up. Collectors confirmed. I don't know what would happen if we brought Vitor back with us. I think he might die. Like, we, Cerberus does not have the facilities for Aquarian, you know? And, like, he needs to be home with his people. Like, he wouldn't give us any, he would probably just freak out and collapse. Like, he wouldn't give us anything. He was already giving us as much as he could. His data probably had way more than he could say. I still might go back and do that. See, I didn't realize that he was, that Vitor was in that building. That scene gets me every time, though, when they start playing the music and they bring out the SR2. Oh, dang. I mean, she isn't the original Normandy, but she's got the spirit, the fire of the first one, you know what I mean? Kind of audacious of Cerberus to make a replica, but... You know, I ain't complaining. This, if nothing else, this is what would get me to work for him. Yay! I already have my cool stuff. Yay, Joker! Alright, we're touring the ship. Got my scars going. Except for the one that I had across the bridge of her nose. Wow, I mean, it is. it already looks bigger. You know what I mean? Bigger on the inside, dang. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I'm just like, oh, moving on. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Mm. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like Yay! the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am are you? Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. Especially Joker. I need Joker. your film the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. See, she complimented you. I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Okay. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. <laughs> the Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Cool, cool. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map Look and the CIC. Look how shiny this place is. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Salute you, sir. Yes, galaxy map. Yeah, uh-huh. Private terminal, yep, didn't have that before. Armory. Elevator. Go to my my cabin. <laughs> Ooh, I do I do love the enhancements on this Normandy. <laughs> Welcome uh, aboard, Commander. Alright, I should talk to you. You're gonna be here a lot. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say. It's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Okay. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Sure. Okay, Kelly. 
Anything else? Don't be all smiley like that. That weird. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. This is a good idea. A, pressure. a crew a psychologist. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Hmm. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Mm. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Okay. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. Yeah, that's what all dictators say. We look say. out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. I mean, I think she's a good person, like the legit, like she's a very good person, but I don't think the people at the top of Cerberus necessarily have her same ideals. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. That has to be a big, you know, picker-upper. Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Is that everything? Okay. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. Gotta start off on a positive implicitly. note. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be... <laughs> okay. Alright, that's a little bit much. I'd drop you. Uh, I'd embrace you. That's really quick, Shepard. Just, alright, whatever, we'll just... I... Your trust is well-placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yeah, yeah. Um, good golly. Let's open the private terminal and see, uh... Whoa. Okay. Oh, I do, uh, yeah, I have the, uh, appearance pack, I think. Miranda was included, but there were a couple other, I specifically got it for two other people, but the fact that I can put Miranda in something that actually looks like Battle Gear is, uh, good. That, that's what I do. But usually you can't do it until you've actually won their, like, loyalty, and then they have, like, another outfit you can, you can, uh, you can look at. Let's check my messages. Anderson! On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council. It's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. Shepard, at great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara Ward in the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password Silence is Golden to begin the rendezvous. I didn't realize I'd be getting her so quick. Like, if I could, you know? No, we're not going to be looking at this. <laughs> Uh, I think I did once just to like get, I think there was an achievement or something for watching them, and I did, and I'm not doing it again. Oh man, okay, Rise of the Alliance. Okay, wow, I mean, this place is shiny. I don't, was this walkway here? Like, I just finished playing Mass Effect 1 a little bit ago. I feel like those were over here. It, I don't know, but dang, it's shiny. I'm just glad they kept it very metallic in here. Only thing I don't like is the freaking orange glowing ship replica in the center. And the orange... Like, this is not a healthy color to stare at for a computer. Like, a blue or a white or something would be one. Orange would just strain your eyes. Yay, yeah, we'll get to codex stuff. Haptic, haptic adaptive interface. So you can use, you know... Oh, let's get going on this. Hey, Joker. Wait, let's see. Oh, yeah. Why would you want to close this, though? Why would you put windows on the front of a Off ship? Check is clean. Also, can I just stand up here and hear him say things? That would be so funny. Oh, there we go. Fight, flight controls. Okay. 
Okay, Joker, how's it going? Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. <laughs> leather seats. <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. <laughs> <laughs> this thing I don't want to talk about. I don't, this is, I don't want to be like, th that sounds mean and that sounds mean. So we're going to just say, uh, I don't know. That we'll, we'll go with the middle route. That one almost seems like what I would rather do, but we'll, we'll stick with the middle route. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. <laughs> uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite. <laughs> you have no choice. Choice ever. <laughs> this is a civilian ship. Probably lucky you're still wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24 7. Insurance. <laughs> He's like staring at her. He's like, insurance. <laughs> it's true. This is technically a civilian ship. I am lucky Joker is still wearing pants. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Edie then. Yes, Shepard. Um, hello. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Uh, your name. Why are you named Edie? ED is the phonetic pronunciation of EDI. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. What do you do? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. <laughs> the elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. It's true. At least, the fact that she could tell us means that he's being upfront about it, because there are other things that he's not telling it. He's not allowing her to tell us about, but he's allowing her to tell us that he's got monitoring devices on board. We don't really have anything to hide, but we might. You know what I mean? Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? It's also just In not close nice. close-range ship-to-ship combat, to have I can sometimes devices. break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless I network. I wish we could do, like, One lots of that. That'd be cool. Systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields. Or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. Why can't we do On that defense, more? I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. What a... Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances it's true. or perform the necessary this multitasking. Is very true. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Why not a VI? Unfortunately, we are suspect. Well, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. <laughs> I love it he doesn't pause. Like, guys, civilization, just putting it out there. Like, he's just like, no, no. <laughs> See, I love Joker's sense of humor in this one. It just, it just expands and evolved, and it was like, it's awesome. I love it. Okay, let's we did that. It's impressive. Blah blah. Restricted functions? Like what? I <laughs> I'm know. like Joker. <laughs> Some of my databases are sealed. Oh yeah, Some yeah. Of my hardware is kept offline. Yes, she I doesn't even know. When certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Okay. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Uh, I don't want to ask her what the room is because I know what the room is. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from what? answering for real? that question. How? I mean, I can't remember like exactly how mean? they did it. Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. Oh. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Okay. It's not like she's choosing to. She legitimately can't. Um, uh, get good day structure. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. But I am in charge. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Res what sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? 
I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. <sighs> okay. It makes sense. All right. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Anything else, Joker? Commander. Let's see. Uh... So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. A people person. I love it. What do you think about the people we're picking up? I haven't picked well, up nobody. the ones you went out with last? I would never say anything against Oh, Miranda right. And expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spread it around. No need to go spread it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign. It's true. And then we got dumped. Yeah. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Yeah. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your Why? team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. No. It's amazing how the different how what the difference one person can make, you know? I assume everything's going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. He knows what he's Commander, doing. Can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this and see what happens because I don't really like that and and I don't really think it doesn't matter what Cerberus thinks really so uh, we'll see if that I don't have time to babysit you Joker find a way nope. to deal with it no nope. yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. <laughs> problem not mine <laughs> Thanks. I'll remember this let's see I assume everything's going well up here Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. All right. That's it for now. See you, Commander. That was funny, though. <laughs> yeah, arguing with the intercom is not my strong point. Okay, um... I think I am really quick gonna run back and try to replay that... Okay, this, 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 this running thing. Look at her running. Look at it. She's like a Neanderthal. Like, like, oh my gosh, she's like all hunched over and like, dum, dum, dum. And you know what it is? It took me like two playthroughs to realize, I think that was, maybe it was on my third one, I finally realized what it was, because it happens to the male and female shepherd. But this is the exact way, same way she runs, or like, like moves at like, you know, like running, but not sprinting, just like her normal pace. It's the exact same way she moves in her suit of armor, like her armor. Because, yeah, for some reason, the, the animation has, like, stayed the same. Even though she's wearing, like, half a pound of clothing, she's still moving the same way as if she's wearing 50 pounds of armor. Which is not not how you would move. It, it just, I don't know. I just feel like it could have, I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it had to be. But I feel like that may have been a slight design oversight. <laughs> Especially in the female, I think. I don't know. She shouldn't be walking, slightly jogging, so tilted forward and hunched over like that, but... Anyway, um, I will go back now, actually. Let's see. Um, we did get pretty far. Restart the mission, heck no. Um, wait, let's save. Yeah, we'll create a new save here. And then we will go check that. I think we're still gonna have to fight the thingy, but I will I will edit it out and hopefully we can get Tally's little conversation that we're supposed to have with her that I just didn't do because I went into the wrong building first. Yay me. It said to go straight to finish the thing, and I that's what I thought. Anyway, it looked like it said, go keep going forward. So I was like, okay, I'll go left. Oh, man. Oh, boy, we are far back. All right, we'll catch up with you guys when something different actually happens. 
Okay, so we just defeated the thing. I don't think I care about the... Nope, it's just got money. Picked up some stuff. Lots of blood. That's one thing, other thing I noticed about this game is that there is a lot of blood in this one and it wasn't really noticeable in the first one. Okay, here we go. There's still some this people alive. This is your alive. chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounds. Oh, okay, so that's Probably not... Probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Oh, okay, okay. So, well, there's that then. Um, I'll finish this up and we will carry on on the Normandy where we left off after talking to some people. So thanks again. Thank you guys again for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.